Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today's fun fact of the day has to do with quick service restaurants. Did you know that India's market for quick service restaurants is close to 16.72 billion dollars and it is expected to double in the next 5 years. There is so much food being consumed as the population is getting richer and richer. Eating at McDonald's or buying a coffee at Starbucks, which was once a treat or a moment of celebration, has now become commonplace. Years ago, I used to do field work for my market research company Ormax, and I used to hear people saying that Mickey D was the place where I would go to impress the girl I was taking on a date. Now it is considered cheap to do something like that. So as our bank balance increases, so do our aspirations, which is perfect. There is nothing wrong with that. However, there is a disturbing habit that I wanted to share with you. Recently I've been traveling a lot across India and I've been invited to many one or two day kind of trips to speak, talk about the book that I've written. And as a segue, I hope that you've bought the book. If not, pause the podcast right now and go buy one copy. All right. So while waiting at the airport, I noticed that the lines at the food stands were full. People were just eating and eating. Now, there are three issues with this. The first is that most of the food available at airports is not fresh, not good quality food. It is difficult to get nutritious food there. Most things are sandwiches or puff pastries. and the vending machines are just filled with sugary beverages and sugary milk drinks ultra sweet the second problem is that most airports have nothing to do but eat and shop there is no options around you can't do anything else and since you can't spend so much money shopping all the time we do the next best thing which is eating 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 if only there were other things to do at the airport we might not fall into this particular trap Now the third problem is that we are bored and we don't know what to do with ourselves so we end up eating. We can't just sit by ourselves and get bored, right? So we have to go and keep our mouths occupied. I have seen families come through the security check and immediately say, "Okay, we have 30 minutes to kill, let's go eat something." Boredom is the reason that we snack. We don't know what to do so we chew 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 chew. As your habit coach, I never want you to mindlessly eat constantly just because you don't know what to do with yourself. The food that you put in your body is sacred. It is essential that you give it the best quality of nutrition that you can get. Instead, I'm going to share the habit that I follow when I have long waits at the airport. I put on my headphones and I listen to a podcast or an audiobook. And while I do that I start walking around the airport. I stroll past the gates, I look at the people listening to the show all the while. I try and complete about 8000 steps while doing this. Now what is funny is that you end up passing the same people over and over and over again and they are wondering what is this crazy person doing. One day three other random strangers joined me and started walking up and down the airport. It was quite a sight to see. and by walking we are using all the muscles in our body stuff that we are not using when we are sitting by walking you're using your muscles and making them stronger instead of just sitting by walking you're using your glycogen stores in your muscles and hence helping you not increase your blood sugar when you do finally choose to eat something but most importantly you're not getting bored and you're not mindlessly eating so your super simple travel habit starts by wearing comfortable shoes to the airport don't worry about the paparazzi here once you have the right walking shoes i want you to begin walking around the airport listening to your favorite podcast this one of course included try and use a tracker so you can measure how many steps that you walk throughout remember eat only when you're hungry do not eat just because you have no idea what to do with your free time walk instead 